So what is up you guys? I am back and this time I'm coming at you guys with my wash and go routine. I have not done this on camera and this is like the second day I've actually got to wear my hair in a wash and go. My curls are so much better since I've big chopped and I want to show you guys my routine. So if you are interested in this video, you guys know what to do. Stay tuned. shower or wet my hair I will go in with my leave-in conditioner my Moroccanoil hydration mask and for all of my hair a little goes a long way with this product because it is professional product so for all of my hair use about that much especially in the middle part of my hair and then of course if you feel like you need more um, leave-in you are more than welcome to put more leave-in in your hair. Whatever leave-in that you choose to use. Doing this is gonna allow the moisture from the water to actually penetrate your hair and keep your hair more moisturized. It's going to, in a terms, or in a sense, lock in the moisture in your hair. So all over, washing those are like such a new thing to me, it's not even funny, I've never, this is literally the third time in my life I've done a wash and go. I didn't even used to do wash and curls when I, I mean wash and goes when I had my relaxed hair. I would just put blue magic in my hair and dip out. So if you want to, you can um, just comb it through again, or you can just put your product in. Okay. And now I'm gonna go in with my gel, and then I'm also gonna go in with my mousse. And then with my gel, I do about two quarter size, and then I just rub it in. I'm gonna just put it all throughout my hair. This is gonna be my hold. I'm gonna go in with my mousse. You can just put this all over your hair too. So we're just finger combing these curls. I'm 
I mean, and with you, you just do what's best works for you, meaning product and everything. You just do what works best for you. And everybody's hair is different. What works for mine, like I always say, it's not going to work for somebody else's. My technique might not work for somebody else either, so you got to do what's best for your hair. <laughs> totally a few different textures which is crazy but that's what I was dealt so I'm gonna deal with it so in some spots I'll put a little bit more product or a lot more leave-in conditioner just to help it not be so dry <laughs> Sometimes I like to lay these all the way down flat like this, or sometimes I'll just do the little curls. Today we're gonna do some little curls. Y'all can't tell me that my edges is gonna be popping out. <laughs> I've noticed such a difference with my edges since I've been chopped. Like, I'm not trying to be cocky or anything, but, um, the edge is dope. And then of course when it's all dry, you're just gonna sit there and you're gonna pick it to your liking or you could leave it how it dries. I think with this set, I'm gonna leave it how it dries because I like it. Show you guys the back so you guys can see it. But yay, so these are my curls now guys. And I am so happy with my hair. After this, you can spray your hair with oil or you can spray it with like a setting spray and then you can go from there. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Go ahead, comment, rate, and subscribe and give me a thumbs up on this video. See you next video. Bye. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you in my next one. Bye!